everybody. Another beautiful morning here. We're driving down the road. It's 5.30 on our way to our first stop. All right, everybody. We're here at Estancia Farms. And uh, we're going to go ahead and shoe a horse here. Go over the basic things that need to be happening when shoeing a horse. Take a look at the way this horse is shot. It's actually shot by someone else, so this will be an average job being turned into a professional job. Alright, so now what I'm doing is I'm pulling off a shoe here. First you gotta cut the clinches. You can get a stand, put it up, or you can take it behind you to cut the clinches. You put it about a quarter inch underneath the nail and you cut upwards. That clinch is cut. Coming up, cut that one. And the third clinch. This is uh, another way to cut clinches. If you don't pull them forward, you can also come here and cut from the back, or from the top here. The slanted part of the clinch cutter down, put a little head of the clinch. The clinch is the old metal head that was there prior to the last time the guy shot the horse. Put it above and down and in. Now, the cradle really works well. You lock your foot in the cradle. Okay, it's locked in there. Down and in pop down and in now we're gonna get these nails out that's the easiest way down and in pop those one two and we're good we're gonna move on and knife the foot cleaning the canals of the frog Right here are the canals. I'm gonna clean up here. Clean here. So now I've got the foot prepped. See, I'm just gonna trim a little bit of toe here to help this horse stand up. I can see this horse is a little bit higher on the outside, so I'll take a little bit more of outside. Now we're gonna rasp this hoof. Come here, take off. The high spots. Get the broken dead edges. So we're gonna go ahead and be sizing up the shoes. Uh, I know that I'm gonna be putting a lot bigger shoe on than what was on because it looks so small. Right now, if anything, her feet are just too small. We uh, heat the shoes up. The most important thing about when you burn a shoe on is you take a flat shoe to a flat foot. So when you take the flat shoe to the foot, you're actually burning the foot, which in turn makes the hoof flat. It's pretty good. It's just this is kind of laying on the frog right there. So I'm gonna have to cut that. A couple adjustments. This is why it's so important to have the right tools. Grind this. Now that heel should be fit appropriately. Shoe has to fit like a glove in order to nail it on properly. As long as the shoe fits, you know, it makes it easy to nail on. So when the shoe doesn't fit properly, everybody has a problem. So we take so much time to fit the shoe right the first time and not have to do it multiple times. All the nails are in a line.
This is a clinch block. You can go ahead and this is what sets the shoe to the foot. Okay, those shoes, the hind shoes are on. As you can see, the foot, the shoe flows around the foot. There's plenty of shoe hanging out for room for the hoof to grow into. It's very important. This is what they call clenching and dressing the horse. This is the final touch uh, on the shoeing job. Uh, this is to make everything, some guys say, make it look pretty, polish it up. Clench and dress is the technical term. This is the uh, clenching of the nails and making it smooth with the hoof wall, the outer hoof wall. Also helping uh, ensure, hopefully, that your shoe will stay on for the duration of the shoeing. Go, Cesar, go. Go, Cesar, go. So this is a finished job. As you can see, the shoes flow nice and even all the way around the hoof. You can tell there's lots of shoe here hanging out the back, supporting the whole hoof instead of resting at the at the end of the heels there. So this is pretty much what, an what a great job looks like. Average, mediocre job to uh, official show. This horse is drilled and tapped. She's ready to go for the show. Now we're off to the next the next stop. Make sure she can walk okay afterwards. That's a very important factor. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk by you here. Make sure she's walking okay. <clears throat> Not limping. All right. All right guys, let's get everything closed up. We're out of here.